Good day everyone, today I will be discussing to you the properties of the diagonals of a square. First property, the diagonals of a square are congruent. Let's say we have our square. Let's say A, B, C, D. So diagonals of a square are congruent. If I will go, if I will go into draw AC that is congruent to BD. Okay. Next, number two. The diagonals of a square bisect each other. Let's say we have our square X or K L M N then diagonals and the intersection point is O. So that means we have LO is congruent to NO. Or KO is congruent to MO. Number three. The diagonals of a square are perpendicular. So, perpendicular. We'll form, we have a square. Then diagonals, so perpendicular, it will form a 90 degree angle. Number four, every diagonal of a square bisect its opposite angles. So let's say we have square A, B, C, D. If we're going to draw our diagonal, therefore this angle is equal to the other angle. The same as if we have diagonal AC, this angle is equal to the other angle. And each diagonal of uh, each diagonal divides the square into two congruent isosceles triangles. So number five K L M N. So if I will draw diagonal diagonal L N, therefore it divides into two congruent isosceles triangles. Okay. Okay. I saw Celeste trying that. That means the legs are equal. Now let's have exercises or examples about the, the properties of the diagonals of a square. Now let's have our example. A, B, C, D is a square. A, B, C, D. Find the length of each side if D E measures 5 cm. So we're going to find the measure of each side of our square. Our given is DE, which is 5 cm. Okay. So if I will write, it will form a right triangle. Because in our property, diagonals, will form a perpendicular so and this is 5 C M okay and in our property it will form an isosceles triangle so if this is 5 this is also 5 C M so opposite our right angle is our hypotenuse okay hypotenuse so right triangle we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. So we have the C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. We have the given sides. So we're looking for the longest side. Let's say X squared is equal to our given 5 squared plus 5 squared. Now we have X squared is equal to 25 plus 25 x squared is equal to 25 plus 25, that is 50. Get the square root. x is equal to square root of, factors of 25 are 25 times 2. So x is equal to square root of 25, that is 5 square root of 2. Therefore, each side, so let's say, ab is equal to 5 square root of 2, we have our unit, CM, 
BC is equal to 5 square root of 2 CM. CD is equal to 5 square root of 2 CM. And AD is equal to 5 square root of 2 CM. That is the properties of the diagonals of a square. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.